Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with a tutorial video in which I'm teaching you guys how to make a three-way double giant bomb set. And uh, this is something that people have been asking about, and I think it's uh, it's an important skill to be able to do, especially at Town Hall 9, and probably more at Town Hall 10, as we see Hogs and uh, Valks become more of a factor, that kind of ground attack strategy. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at some uh, ways to do this but first real quick uh, just a, a quick why would you want to have a three-way double giant bomb set and the answer to that basically is well f two different reasons first of all it's easier to make um, it's going to be less disruptive to your base build because if you have a just a regular double giant bomb set you have to have a lot of dead space to make sure it doesn't get triggered the short way um, I think it's called the short, I don't know, the, you know what I mean, the way where you only hit one bomb, where you come at it like between the defenses. Uh, it, so it, it eliminates that to a certain extent because there's three different anchor points, so it's much, much harder to hit it, hit one of the giant bombs uh, one at a time if you do it right. And uh, also it's a little bit more uh, inconspicuous. It's it's harder to, to see on a base. You can make it a very tricky uh, layout so people don't expect there to be any kind of double giant bomb action, but they end up hitting it. So a few different reasons. Uh, attackers aren't quite as used to it. So definitely is um, something you want to consider doing. So let's take a look at how it works. Basically, the principle of the double giant bombs of the three way double giant bomb set is that um, with a Tesla or a building that takes up uh, two by two tiles, you can trigger the giant bomb either going straight over it like this arrow points right here. Um, you can either go uh, straight into it like as you come from here to the Tesla, you just trigger it like that. But also if you come at it from the side, you're still going to trigger it because the radius is enough and it's kind of hard to see because the bomb animation or the bomb picture blocks some of the, the radius, but you can kind of see more at the bottom here. There's about, I think, like a one tile-ish. It, it increases when you upgrade it, but there's a pretty solid uh, radius that it will trigger at. So if a hog is starting here and it runs over to the Tesla, comes along the arrow like that and comes to the Tesla there, um, it's, the odds are it's still going to trigger it, especially if you have multiple hogs. The hogs like to fan out. Once they reach the fence, they kind of spread out and take up different sides. So very, very often, uh, whenever a hog comes at that angle, it's still going to trigger it from either side, whether you start down here and go up like that, or if you start where the arrow is. So basically that's the principle it uses in case you're wondering why it works like this. So you're gonna need, in this, I've, I haven't seen a double giant bomb set that doesn't use at least one two by two and usually two two by two buildings uh, to make it work. So that's the principle there. Let's take a look at an example. Kind of, this is kind of the standard thing you see and you can easily replace, do I have any Teslas left? Oh, let's take this one. Uh, you can easily replace this right here with a, it must be at the back here. Yeah, you can easily replace it, this with a third Tesla if you want it to be even more of a stealth uh, double giant bomb. But you can also have a regular defense like the mortar was there. The idea basically here is that hogs are going to come across it from a, a few different possible ways. But all you have to worry about for dead space is putting some kind of dead space right here so it doesn't get triggered like that because that's the only way it's gonna get triggered one at a time here. Um, but besides that, if you if you take a look at it, when a hog goes from here and comes down to one of these two defenses, it'll obviously trigger that first one, but also it's gonna trigger the second one by the principle I just talked about, especially because it's coming from a, a bit of an angle. It's not coming uh, like up here, coming straight down like that. I'll use a spring trap to model the hog. It's not starting uh, here and then coming straight down like that. It's starting here, so it's actually cutting across a little bit, which means there's more of a chance it's going to go on the side where the giant bomb is. So very, very rare that it would not hit that second giant bomb, whether you're talking from the Tesla to the air sweeper or from the Tesla to the other Tesla. Uh, odds are both are going to be triggered, and you'll get the successful uh, bacon made by the hogs. So if it comes to one of these two defenses, there's a few possibilities. It could go up there, um, but the odds are, just based on how these are spread out, it's gonna go straight across. And you can see it's, a, it's kind of a double giant bomb set, but it's off to the side. Ideally, these would be up here, and it would be much easier to 
uh, be certain they're going to trigger the same, but they are going to be down here to allow the pathing from there to there. So basically what you want to do here is, sorry about that, is uh, have your uh, dead space right there and then have your defenses a little bit higher up. Don't have any down here because what that's going to do is it's going to make the hogs kind of come at this. Um, let me get my spring trap again. It's going to make the hogs kind of come at it like this and they'll be at that kind of bottom corner and you don't want them to be on kind of the bottom side of this because that means it's more likely they're going to come across low down and not go up and trigger that bomb like you want them to. So if you put the defenses a little bit higher up like the second expo, at the angle they come at this defense is going to be more like that. So they'll be coming across much more uh, higher up I guess, high up being this area. They're going to come across more like that. So it's much more likely they'll trigger that uh, second giant bomb. And if you do it right, uh, almost all the time you're going to see both giant bombs are going to be triggered. So hope that makes sense. You want to make sure you place the defenses around just the initial three correctly because that has a big impact on how the hogs are going to approach these defenses and how they'll path after they take out the defenses, which is important to make sure they trigger both giant bombs. So for this standard one, you want to put these high up and uh, I'd say anything, you could have it be like, I guess this is like in, in line with it, however you want to say it, parallel to it. You can have it like that, but I wouldn't have it any at any angle below. Always have it a little bit higher up because you want the hogs approaching from uh, that this angle, like right here, coming at it like this. And if they do decide to go up to this one, typically, well, first of all, a few will peel off and still trigger that one. So you'll still get both of them triggered because almost always a few will peel off to this other Tesla over here. But even still, there's a good chance one of them will uh, kick the giant bomb as it, as it goes by. Like I said, the hogs fan out. So if you do it like that, you have a pretty solid chance. I mean, obviously weird things do happen, but if you follow that, if you keep the defenses uh, in the right area, and keep in mind up here you can have defenses all around like that because it's very difficult to come in like that and trigger their one uh, one at a time. So you can have the defenses very fanned out in front of that single Tesla up here, but be a little more cautious for these two right there because you don't want them coming in low down like that or like that. So anyway, hope that makes sense. This is kind of a variation I like to do. Um, it's the same principle basically, but a little bit different and I think it works just as well. I've used it, I've tested it, it does work. So. This is a different in a way where you're very rarely going to see uh, hogs that go from this air sweeper uh, down to this mortar. It will happen, but this is more of kind of a almost, I don't know how to say it exactly, but it's less of a three way and more of just kind of there's two different possibilities that could happen of how it gets triggered. I'll just explain it, I guess. That's the easiest way to do it. Starting if hogs come from this defense, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, most of the time, they're just going to come down here. They're not going to hop the wall and go to this mortar most of the time. So they'll come from there. Uh, they'll go down to that Tesla. And as I've shown, they'll trigger uh, the double set giant bombs just like that as they path over each one. From this Tesla, uh, they're going to go to this air sweeper probably. So we're talking it could happen. I wouldn't put a defense like that. Because you don't want them, like I said, look at the angle they're coming at this Tesla. If they come at the Tesla from a high angle, there is a chance they could probably avoid that first bomb. So I would keep uh, your defenses more like that and have some dead space up top. That way they're coming at this Tesla a little bit lower down and you have a much, much better chance they'll trigger this one and that one as they go through. And then I guess it's possible because these two defenses are much closer together than they are to the mortar. So typically you're going to have... Uh, defense is going or hogs going between those two but if a hog does go down you still have a solid shot of it going from there and as it runs it might not hop the wall immediately trigger these two and hit the mortar still a good chance there and I guess it's possible one could go from there to there I don't really see it being likely but like I said I wouldn't put a defense down here and have the hogs come at this from the bottom side because it'll just make it much more likely to go over like that and it also allow a single trigger anyway, so keep the defenses a little bit higher up in that area, but not too high up like I said, or else you're going to start making it so that they uh, might not trigger this bomb as they go to the air sweeper. So one last thing, as they go from this mortar, 
uh, to whatever defense really they go to. You can see right in their path is that double giant bomb set. Obviously, you're going to have some kind of splat or dead space there just to prevent people from spawning anything. Like putting, you don't want to have any holes in your base. So uh, from right from the mortar, we're looking at the Tesla. Definitely a double giant bomb. Uh, trigger it once because uh, they'll go from here. They're going to trigger that one because of the radius expanding out in front of that Tesla. Same thing with this. It'll be very, very difficult to avoid them. So that's kind of my variation. This is more of the standard one you see. I'll go ahead and get rid of the defenses and stuff around it one more time. Uh, that's what we're looking at. But like I said, remember, think about ways where it could be possible that the double jump bomb set might not trigger at the same time or both of them might not go off. And uh, think about how you can place defenses around the initial three to try to minimize the chances of that happening. Because it does matter where the defenses uh, are placed in relation to the initial three, because that affects how the hogs will run up to these first three defenses and what angle they'll come at it from and uh, where they'll go after it goes down. So I hope that makes sense. And uh, hopefully this video helped. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.